Hi, I'm Katrina. You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. And guess who we saw sitting ringside? Errol Spence, the other welterweight champion, <laughs> who watched that knockdown, put his hand to his face, and said, I'm out of here. Spence and his guys got up, turned, and walked. Thurman, Spence, Danny Garcia, all those guys just walked up to 154 <laughs> after seeing this performance by Terrence Crawford. That is one of the most likable fighters of this generation. Errol Spence was right there watching this fight. As soon as the stoppage happened, he walked out. What was your message to Errol Spence tonight? He was at my fight? Yeah. Now that boy said he wasn't gonna never, he gonna never be at my fights, but now he at my fights. Well, you see what I did, you know, compared to what he did. So, that's what happened. As soon as you, the stoppage happened, that's what happened with Errol. Hey, hey listen, my thing is, in the welterweight division now. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I love it. Who are you talking to? All right, now the future. The future, Terrence, because the most important thing is you make the decisions on what happens next in your career. What do you want next? Who do you want next? Well, you already know who I want. I I've been calling them out all day, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll go up to 154. Maybe if Spence get his tail out his butt, he'll fight me. You know what I mean? Whatever. You know what I mean? I will whatever. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So as you've seen right there, Errol Spence, just like Terrence Crawford, he did something that he said he would never do. He showed up at a Terrence Crawford fight. You've seen his reaction to Terrence Crawford knocking out or stopping Sean Porter. You know, maybe I'm making a mistake when I say this, but... I remember when Terrence Crawford showed up at Errol Spence's fight, I said, this is a great indication that the fight is closer to being made. And then once they asked Errol Spence at his post-fight press conference, if that was the indication by Crawford being there, Errol Spence surprisingly said, no, not at all. He said, I don't even know why he showed up. I would never show up at his fight. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and say, I think this means that Errol Spence, he realizes, you know, if this man beats Sean Porter, then me versus Crawford has to happen. That's the only way Errol Spence can be thinking. Because as great as Errol Spence is, with a performance like this, with Terrence Crawford becoming the first person to stop someone that a lot of people believe couldn't even be knocked out, that he's not only the best welterweight in the world, he's the best fighter pound for pound in the world. Because once again, He's doing this to the best competition. These are not Rocky Fieldings, Caleb Plants, or Smiths, or Maccaboos. That was Sean Porter that he just stopped. So finally, Terrence Crawford is in a position to where he has many options, even if Errol Spence doesn't want to fight him. Terrence Crawford has many options. Like he said, he can go up to 154, and by him saying that, that's a dead giveaway that if he can't get the Errol Spence fight, he's not sweating it. He'll move up to 154 and leave the welterweight division in Errol Spence and Jerron Ennis' hands. So it'll be really interesting to see what Errol Spence decides to do because at first originally, he wanted to fight against your Dennis Ugas. But with all of these layoffs for Errol Spence, it makes you wonder if he's gonna have to take a tune-up. Errol Spence always says he's not a tune-up type of fighter. He likes to get right back into the mix. We'll see if that is the case. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the big day. SMPs at Scout Carolinas. I need a real restoration. This is my makeover right here. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man, Scalp Carolinas, on Instagram.
All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called Elo De Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to elodekey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram.